a historic day yesterday. Of course, the severe, severe weather that we saw affecting so many people all across Central Texas. And a lot of you have been sending in your pictures and your videos to us through our reported feature, which we appreciate because it gives, it gives us a better idea of what you're seeing out there. It really does. And this morning we wanted to take a moment to share some of the best ones that we got here with you. This is how it all started yesterday, kind of the calm before the storm. A lot of us, uh, a lot of folks rather, sent us pictures of these clouds, which are called Mamatis clouds. Uh, they look like those little poofy uh, cotton balls coming down out of the cloud. Uh, this was sent to us from Mick, Mitt McGuire. Now, later in the day, some folks saw this in the skies. Nikki sent us this one of a funnel cloud, and it looks like maybe even a tornado touching down there mm -hmm. in LaGrange. We did actually have a confirmed touchdown in LaGrange that damaged a house. Thankfully, it did not cause any injuries. This was that home that was hit by the tornado. It sits between Schulenburg and LaGrange. The Schulenburg Volunteer Fire Department put up these photos for us on Facebook. Now, a Fayette County Sheriff spokesman tells us that the family who lived there is okay, and they are thankfully receiving some help this morning from the Red Cross. This is in Pflugerville around the time the storms just rolled in. Lauren Glenn says this is off of Kelly Lane looking southwest. You can see the clouds, and about 20 minutes later, it started pouring, and the water rose quickly. Also, David Keith was in Pflugerville, shot this video from inside his car. You can see the lightning lighting up the sky as Gilliland Creek flooded across the road. David also sent in some video from Tejas Park on the south side of the San Gabriel River in Georgetown. A handful of people even standing looking at the currents passing by and the mess, obviously, that it left behind. Oh, yeah. Take a look at some more video that we're getting in. This is from the Round Rock area. This is what you were dealing with. I'm sure you heard and you saw the flooding at the creek. Apartments off of East Palm Valley Boulevard. More video that we're getting in from Lamar near 10th Street. Thank you to our viewer, Metchen who sent this in. You can see what appears to be a dumpster floating down the road. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the same dumpster that Kate was talking about this morning in her live reports. It likely was. And check out this amazing video coming to us from Clinton Bailey. This is drone video of storm damage in the hill country. You can see roofs ripped off of buildings and debris scattered everywhere. What a sight this is. Another part of this video right here uh, wow. shows the Perdinalis River near LBJ State Park. That aerial perspective really uh, gives you a sense of uh, the kind of storms that we were seeing yesterday. Uh, I was in here all day with Rosie uh, Newberry yeah. and with Jim Spencer. Uh, we saw seven confirmed tornadoes plus three other possible tornadoes. I right. uh, saw historic flooding. It was quite a day. And uh, even Jim Spencer been here for 25 years. He's never seen anything like it. No. Yeah. So this morning you'll have the National Weather Service go out and survey the damage and then figure out how many tornadoes touched down? That's exactly right. So we, we uh, have reported tornadoes. Then they send out their dispatch survey teams. Uh, they confirm that it was a tornado or just damaging straight line winds, as they're called. And then they also uh, rate the tornado's intensity. So uh, 